Clyde! Mr. DeWitt. The name's Booker. I'll be certain to attend to that distinction. Booker. And there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I've spotted some supplies over there. What is a life compared to a fate? I don't think I understand how you do what you do. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. But I always wanted to come back. To what? I don't know. My family? Huh. How do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read? Well, I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? And what did that teach you? That there's a world of difference between what we see and what is. Yeah! Hey! It's the sea! <laughs> Woo! Once again, here we go. Know the name, know the flow. Turn me up a little more. I'm setting traps, I'm alone. You know you whack, I'm a maniac, boy, you know I'm black to the bone. Pick a place, nigga, pick a date. I go go cool, pick a low. Uh, thought you was good, huh? Take you out back, Drake through the woods, huh? Thought I was weak, huh? You ain't see the work I put in all week, huh? Give me that, where the city at? Nitty gritty, this ain't gonna be pretty, Jack. Not afraid, get up out the way. Y'all used to hate, look at what you made. When it all goes down, I'ma run this town. Fire in my soul, got my eyes on the ground. I can't help myself lately, can't turn myself down. I'm in love with you, baby, but I let you down. I can't die in this town, I won't die in this town. The gondola's coming! He will abandon you, my sweet Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Once he has what he needs, he will leave you alone. Oh. What else could you expect from a liar and killer of women? Comstock. Father, prophet, whomever you are. I'm leaving, and there's not you can do to stop me. Oh, sweet child. That's where he is. Elizabeth. All right. Truth be told, I'm not the man that I once was. But I saw. Search 
Conscious on the beach, kept repeating a woman's name, Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. Want to hold on to this? Appreciate it. So, looks 
like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. You all right? I want to see Paris. I want to see everything. It's up to you now. There's no one. Wait, what is that? 40 north by 74 west. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Amy. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs> shepherd we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Fox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join I just the Fox. Want my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him, and you shall have your ship back. I'll find the airspeak before she lights up. The most common complaint I hear from the working men is that they are unhappy with their lot. They fire the man? Flying squad came and took him. You ain't gonna see him around no more. No one has to wants all those responsibilities and worry. You do your job, you eat your food, you go to sleep. Simplicity is beauty.
type. You wanna know what we do to pretty little stowaways? Or maybe you don't. Hey! Just stay away just stop from for me. a minute! Stay away! I just wanna talk to you! Elizabeth! Get away from me! Just hold up for Stay a minute! Away. I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Just stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need Wait, for one such as you! No, no, no! No! no. Let me go! You got her! There's gotta be another way in. They called Slate a monster and a traitor. I know the men who died in all of Heroes with Captain Slate. There is no shame to be counted in their number. The shame lies to we who assembled outside the hall. Though we were not the ones who fell, I feel only envy for those who perished under his banner. Just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Don't get too comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You are a means to an end. No more. Now, Mr. Fink's a good man. 
You work hard, and I know that we'll work you. Be your gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the time. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. They will leave you with naught but the sound of their laughter. Welcome to Fink Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Think you can crack this one open? Done. Over there, the service elevator. It should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Gunsmith Chen Lin wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Greetings. My name is Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, 
Yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego. find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's nice. interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? It doesn't strike me as good news. We need a coal porter here to haul half ton of coal from fake manufacturing. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by that clock shop? Open. I've never even seen a lock like this. Anti-pressure device, a spring-loaded wiper, a relocker. You'd need a battering ram to open it. song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. Oh! Lately, I've been hearing a whole mess of funny new ideas. Here it is, Gunsmith. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. about this. It's 
Bodhisattva Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Populi help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Who's the time spot? The cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Right, let's figure out where this good time club is. Comstock, and well, everybody noticed me. I head to Finkton, and I hide. I hide deep. The more they look, deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they're invisible. They're saying, friend, what you do doesn't matter. Friend, you are being taken for a fool. I'll be down here. Head inside and find Mr. Lin. And just call me Booker. Sir or madam, where the lions roar! The show is about to begin! Ah! Do it, my boy! You know, the best kind of 
interview is one where the applicant does. No, he's being evaluated. <laughs> but I've watched you since the other day at the lottery. You're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. What do you want, Fink? My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I, do I know who has it. <laughs> I'm infected. My condition is I'm always <laughs> in my head. Yes. in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little 
job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fitz Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Booker, there's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But... Not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. Elizabeth? Ah, oh, this won't take long at all. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Got it. Fitzroy, you goddamn kook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. What's that smell? Ain't no privies down here. They treat them like animals. These boots could use some shit. <laughs> What could people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? I think don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Take a look at this lock. Okay. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. Here we go. Do it. You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, DeWitt! Not hyenas! Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Where the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. 
we have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this stair, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? <laughs> Another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same.
you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? My husband... Oh, no. Calm his... Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little <clears throat> Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Sure. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. 